Bollocks. Watch it, you bloody... Fuck me, Skyler. Oh, are you chatting me up? Hello, Sean. Hi, Jules. Nailed. We'll catch up later. Right now, we need to borrow your car. Well, so much for awkward small talk. Drive the fucking car! Hold on your arses. Just like old times, eh, Skyler? Never a dull moment. How long have you been in town? Just got in, actually. Oh, so you wasted no time running afoul of the local police? Oh, those fellas behind us. They're just having a laugh. Is this Desperado routine meant to be a turn on? I don't know. Is it working? Would you watch the fucking world, please? They're radio ahead to set up roadblocks. Double back and you should be able to slip through the net. I teach you that in your posh English school. Oh, benefits of a higher education. Are all English girls as crazy as you are? Give us a bit of privacy, would you, Jules? Oh, I'd love to, as soon as you check these crowds. A nightcap. <sighs> Brilliant. I'm parched. Uh, fuck this. I'm not going to be the third wheel. Take me back to the hotel. to bed. Keep the noise down, eh? I need some fucking rest. Come on up. I'll sneak you in the back door. Wouldn't have it any other way. <sighs> Nothing like a brisk evening drive to quicken the blood. Except perhaps a single malt McGarren, aged 30 years. Must be Christmas. Lucky for Jews and me, you came sliding down the chimney when you did. Christmas, is it? Oh, I'm afraid I've been a bad girl. Aye, I'm certain of it. Whatever happened after that weekend in Monaco? You never rang me up. You never gave me your number? Oh, that's hardly an excuse. You're not still pining for Jules' little sister, are you? She's a bit of a bore, don't you think? I don't think I'm her type. So... You in town for the race? What can I say? I have a weakness for men in fast cars. I've been all over Europe following the circuit. Mum and Dad are mortified, of course. Beats working for Eleven. I wouldn't know. What's this for? Shaving your legs? A girl should always carry protection. One day you'll have to tell me how you came by these scars. We've done enough talking for one night. Where's the Duchess of York? Don't know. She was gone when I woke up. To be honest, I feel a bit used. Oh, my heart bleeds for you. Come on, let's get to the track.
This is your moment, Sean. Remember what I taught you. I trained you to win. Watch your ass out there. These Nazi bastards are out for blood. Drivers to starting position. <laughs> I'll see you at the victory party. bastards how we do things in Belfast. the morning shit. Here they come! The patriotic... I forbid it. Did you not see what that bastard did? The race was mine, Vittori. Don't go looking for trouble. It finds us all soon enough. It's time we went home. I'll see you to the Aurora. Wait for me at the pit. What's that? That is where the silver dart would be on display after tomorrow's ceremony. What ceremony? In honor of Joker's victory, the latest triumph of the Aryan race. Oh, bollocks. It'd be a damn shame if something were to happen to Joker's car before the big shindig. You mean some kind of freak accident? Oh, that would be terrible. Aye, tragic. Who's up for a little Sunday drive? I'm game. Where are you two going? Vittori told you to wait here. Uh, we won't be long. Jules, don't be a fool. If you want to get yourself killed, I can't stop you. But leave my family out of it. Jules is his own man. If I may chime in, 
It's not polite to eavesdrop. Didn't they teach you that in boarding school? Quite the opposite, actually. <laughs> Perhaps you were too busy screwing your teachers to notice. <laughs> Please, we can't all die virgins. Brother, let's go, Jules. You're making mistakes, Sean. <laughs> when did you become the voice of prudence? Dirke isn't who you think he is. Oh, he's not a motherless arse-faced knob jockey. He's dangerous, Sean. Let it go. Thanks for the tip. We'll see you girls later. Here comes our boy. Let's find out what he's up to. Don't get too close. We don't want to spook him. Hang back a bit, but don't let him out of your sight. This isn't the first time I've run a tail, you know. You're going to lose him! Don't let him get too far ahead! Don't let him get too far ahead! Careful, we are too far back! You're going to lose him! You're going to lose him! Out of town. There's only one place he could be going. The Double Sig Motor Works. That place is going to be crawling with crowds. This scheme of ours could get tricky. I've heard rumors about that place. Some people say they're making more than cars out there. The head of Double Sig has powerful friends in Berlin. Aye, Karl Eckhart. I saw him at the race with that banshee bodyguard of his. Franziska. She's one cold bitch. That's the motor works up ahead. Let's stash the car and take a closer look. There on the left. We don't want him to see us. Out of Jules. Fancy a little exercise. I didn't come all the way out here for the view. Pretty rude of us to drop in without an invitation. I'm French. I'm supposed to be rude. Come on, let's get over that wall. Looks like a good place to climb over. Where the fuck are you going? Stay out of sight! Give me a boost. You all right? Yeah, get over here. How did you learn to climb like that? Creeping out of bedroom windows at three o'clock in the morning. <laughs> There's no way I'm letting you dead, my sister. Nice place. They should have a great view of the lake from up here. There it is. What do you say we take it for a little test drive? Right over that cliff. You can do the honors. Looks like I need to work on my parallel parking. Maybe we should leave a note, eh? 
Dear wanker, sorry about the bang up. Send the bill to me arse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, give me right arm to see the look on that tosser's face. That can be arranged, Herr Devlin. Shite. Hold on, Jules. Stay with me. Stop! Stop this! For God's sake, stop hurting him! Sir! I'm here, Jules. For God's sake! Jules! Your friend cannot hear you at the moment. I'm afraid the pain was more than he could bear. Francisca tells me you have been eager to see the look on my face. I hope you are not disappointed. What the fuck is going on here? Do you believe I spend every waking minute behind the wheel of a race car? <laughs> I have other, more practical talents with which to serve the Reich. My services are in great demand of late. Why are you doing this? I'm a patriot. You're a fucking animal. We are all animals. Beneath the skin. My godfather taught me that. He was a butcher, did you know? He taught me that the flesh holds no secrets once the skin has been removed. I had a long talk with your friend. He sang like a bird. But he could not tell me what I most want to know. And what is that? <laughs> Bishop is not half as clever as he thinks he is. He imagines that we are all blind to his childish schemes. Typical British arrogance. Who the fuck is Bishop? Maybe you should be talking to him. Do not insult my intelligence. We know that you are a British agent. We know that you were sent here to conduct surveillance on this facility. What? You think I'm working for the damn Brits? You must be out of your bloody head. Enough. You will tell me every operational detail of your mission. You will tell me. One way or another. Pull your head out of your arse, man. I've got no idea what you're talking about. Your choice is simple. You may choose to tell me exactly what I want to know, freely and without omission. In which case, you and your friend will return to France to live out the rest of your lives in peace. Sure. Or you may refuse. How are you there? I'm right beside you, Jules. In which case, neither of you will ever leave this room. Make your choice. Now. Go fuck yourself! Guards a prisoner. The interrogation will continue when I return. Before this is over, they're gonna wish it hard.
now we're in business. Der Truppenaufmarsch ist fast beendet. Ich brauche eine Zigarette. Ja, ich auch. Ich habe keine mehr.
This is madness. All these soldiers can't be after me. Something's going down. Something big.